Ryan is finally striking back at Gypsy Rose. And personally, I love to see it. Because I don't think that, that Ryan should lie down right now and take all of this stuff that Gypsy is saying about him. You know, he's been kind of respectful so far. If it were me, it would be a totally different situation. Oh, so you're out with your ex fiance and that's not enough. In between making out and blowing the dude, you got to talk to TMZ and the tabloids and basically throw dirt on my name? That's what's happening. In between Gypsy going on these little excursions with her ex fiance, she's literally being paid, I would believe, by the tabloids to dish all of this dirt. And she's been on like a smear campaign of Ryan for the last couple of weeks, coming up with all of these excuses as to why she left him. And then she even took it far enough to file a restraining order against Ryan, making it look like Ryan's this monster that's going to hurt Gypsy and all of this stuff. And I'm sorry, but I just don't believe it. I don't buy it. And now, finally, Ryan seems to finally be sticking up to him for himself. I guess Gypsy took it a little too far with that last tidbit of information, talking about him hoarding food and snoring. So now, Ryan has responded by putting a restraining order on Gypsy. So right now, as we speak, Gypsy has a restraining order on Ryan. And now Ryan is like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't do anything wrong. I've been here for years taking care of Gypsy, making sure she had money on her books in prison so she can eat all of the little snacks that she wants. I had her a place to live when she got out. I took her shopping, bought all of her clothes, all of that stuff. Why am I being viewed as this bad guy? At the end of the day, I'm no murderer. So Ryan took out a restraining order on Gypsy and let's be honest, who do you think deserves the restraining order more? We don't know much about Ryan or what he's capable of. I'll give you that. But we know a good bit about Gypsy and we know what she's capable of. If I was Ryan, I think I would do the same thing. This, this girl killed her mom. You think she won't kill Ryan? <laughs> so, yeah, I think that he did a good he did a good thing. Because if I was Ryan right now, I would be kind of like, whew. You know, I understand that all of this is heartbreaking for him and frustrating and sad. But at the end of the day, at least she didn't like chop your balls off or murder you or get someone else to do so. Because it very well, uh, it could have easily ended that way. So now he's like, wait, hold up. You're not going to paint me out to be a monster when in reality, hey, you know, let's not forget. You just got out of prison for killing your mom. Restraining order. Restraining order. <laughs> so... That's what's playing out right now. And, you know, I feel like when it comes to Gypsy, she just couldn't, you know, deal with. I don't think it's necessarily something about Ryan personally. I don't think that Gypsy is cut out to be in a relationship, period, right now. And I've been saying this for a while. I don't think that Gypsy is going to do well with, like, authority figures. And... How can I explain this? I'm not saying that your husband has to be the authority or your wife is the authority. But when you're married or you're in a serious relationship, you do have someone to answer to, you know, unless you're in some type of, you know, open relationship where no one cares about anything. I mean, fellas, can you do anything without the old lady? What you doing? You know, where you going? You know what I mean? You got to answer to someone. And ladies, are... Does your man have to answer to you a little bit, right? I'm not saying that your husband has to be the authority figure over your life, but, you know, you can't just do whatever you want to do without having to answer to someone. And I would think that, ladies, if your husband wanted to go walk out of the door in the wee hours of the morning, aren't you going to question where he's going? You know what I mean? So 
When it comes to Gypsy, I don't think she wants that oversight of a relationship. She doesn't want to have to answer to anyone. She doesn't want to have to be questioned by anyone. And at the drop of a dime and the spur of the moment, she wants to do what she wants to do. And when you're in a marriage, you can't necessarily do that. Well, you can, but you know, you can't necessarily, hey, hey, Ryan, you know, we're happily married, but guess what? I'm going to go out and get tattoos with my ex fiance We're going to go bang it out for a little while, get some lunch, and then I'll be back. You know what I mean? So that wasn't riding with Ryan. That wasn't okay with Ryan. So Gypsy is going to look at Ryan like he's this big, bad villain. But I think she would look at any man like he's this villain in her life. And she'll always compare the men that she dates to her mom because all she knows is living under the thumb of her mom. And now, you know, living in a relationship with a man, having to answer to him, she's going to feel like, oh, it's too much. He's too controlling. I don't think it's controlling for your husband not to want you to get matching tattoos with your ex, right? That's not controlling. You know, there's levels to this. I know some people can be controlling, but that's not controlling. And I don't think you're a, you know, she acts like Ryan's the super jealous person, but I don't think a husband should want their wife getting matching tattoos with some random dude. Of course he's going to be jealous. I do believe that some people are like overly jealous and they're freaking insane. But a little bit of jealousy, I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. Because if your significant other isn't just a tad bit jealous over you, then they probably don't care about you as much as you think. Once again, I'm not saying that there needs to be toxic levels of jealousy, but if, if, if your wife or your husband's like, hey, going out to eat with my ex and getting tattoos, yeah, there should be some jealousy there if you actually care about that person. So I believe that a lot of the care and the love that Ryan was giving to Gypsy Gypsy viewed it as, oh, no, you're trying to control me. You're trying to do this. You know, and I, I would imagine that some of the decisions that Gypsy was making, maybe Ryan was questioning some of those decisions. Because I think that in some situations, other people know what's better for you than yourself. Gypsy, I don't think Gypsy knows what's best for Gypsy. If Gypsy knew what was best for Gypsy, we wouldn't be having this conversation she would be living out in the middle of nowhere some, somewhere right now, not on the internet, not involved in all of this nonsense. But Gypsy got out wanting to be the star. She's already selling rumors and photos of herself to the tabloids. You know, it, it's really a sad situation. And I'm wondering if Ryan ever put any input in there that may have pissed Gypsy off. Because the way I'm viewing all of this stuff from, oh, he had too much food in his fridge. He's warm when he sleeps. He snores. I don't think she wants to deal with anyone 24-7. Sure, she wants to go out and do her little flings with this guy and that guy. She probably wants to do some soul searching and go sleep with a bunch of dudes. She wants to be, what do old ladies call it? They call them Jezebels or Jezebels or something. That's what she wants to be. She doesn't want to be a, a trad wife, okay? She doesn't want to be your traditional housewife right now. Gypsy Rose wants to go around all of the little TV shows, post her little selfies. She wants to be a social media thought. She wants to be a Jezebel that can go do whatever she wants. And, you know, unfortunately, instead of being honest about that, she's chosen to smear Ryan. I think that... I personally, I don't know about you all, if she was just honest, like, hey, I married this dude while I was in prison, wasn't thinking things through. Once I got out, I realized it was a bad decision. I really, you know, need to figure out who I am and my place in life. People would have respected that more, but she got out, immediately gets seen with other dudes, and immediately starts smearing this man. And I don't care how much she smears Ryan. In my opinion, it looks like Gypsy is the problem in the relationship. It looks like Gypsy wasn't really ready to be in a marriage. Also, it looks like Gypsy took full advantage of Ryan for the entire time that they were together. So, you know, I, it's very hard for me to sympathize with Gypsy because I believe in Gypsy's mind that she always knew that this would be an option that leaving Ryan was probably very, very likely. But she wanted to get what she could out of the situation. But like I said, if she explained things in a certain way, 
and there wasn't the smear campaign and the plastic surgeries and the tattoos and this and that, people would be viewing the situation a different way. But she wants to play the victim and she doesn't care who she hurts or who she makes look bad along the way. Ryan's reputation doesn't matter. Ryan's life has already been ruined. He's already lost his job and lost everything that he's built his entire life for Gypsy. So now that that's over, he's kicked to the curb. Who cares how you go about the rest of your life? But just know that I'm going to drag you in the media every chance I get because it's profitable for me to look like a victim. It's, it, it's good for me to look like you treated me bad and all of this nonsense. When in reality, as I was saying, I don't think Gypsy Rose can be in a healthy relationship right now because I think that she will always, always, at least in the mental space that she's in right now, she will always grow this animosity towards her significant other. Because in Gypsy's mind now, she's already killed her mom. It's Gypsy's world. Gypsy should be able to do whatever Gypsy wants to do. And if you have something to say about it, you'll become another victim. Maybe you won't get stabbed a bunch, but you know, you'll get kicked to the curb and dragged on social media and you name it. With all of that being said, let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. While you're down there, if you would like to donate to the channel, you can donate via Cash App or Super Thanks, or you can help the channel for free by liking and subscribing. But with that being said, I'll talk to you all soon in the next one.